Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Sagittarius, just want to let you guys know, for those of you guys that follow my tarot lessons, Tarot 101, uh, we're going to go back into schedule starting this Sunday. I apologize, I know that we haven't been uploading the past two Sundays. Uh, it's been extremely hectic on my side, um, not only with business, but personal um personal issues that have arose and that we've uh, needed to deal with. Anyways, um, also, uh, for those of you guys that um, have been waiting for our ritualized uh, handmade soaps, uh, a lot of your favorites are returning. We are restocking. They should be ready by March. Um, so you guys definitely stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back. Let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of February 2022. Want to wish you guys happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. For those of you guys that are single, do not despair. This is the perfect time to give yourself self-love, to really treat yourself and pamper yourself. We do have Venus in retrograde. Um, so... You know, like I said, for those of you guys that are single, I would definitely encourage you guys to celebrate yourselves, treat yourself, pamper yourself on that day, um, get yourself a good bottle of wine, a good movie, good dinner, and treat yourself, my lovelies. It is very crucial and very important, especially because of Venus retrograde. Uh, a lot of introspection, a lot of internalization of how uh, we need and desire love or how we want to be treated. Um it's giving and receiving. So again, make sure to treat yourselves. All right, let's get into your reading. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of February 2022? Please give us a, a clear picture of what is unfolding for them. What can they expect for this month of February 2022? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. First card here is the Page of Swords. Uh, communication for some of you guys. There may be someone lurking or looking at you, social media, uh, to see what you're doing, or I'm getting energy of someone from your past. Um, don't be surprised if there is someone, um, they're showing me like hidden or wanting to be hidden. So for some of you guys, it could be people lurking uh, trying to add you or trying to create fake profiles. A lot of that shit's been going on. Um, by the way, for those of you guys that follow me on social medias, make sure that you're following the correct person because we've been having a lot of people impersonators um, portraying to be me and they are not. All my social medias are on here on my YouTube channel. So you guys definitely make sure you're following the correct person. Anyways, back to you, Sagittarius. <laughs> I see people looking at you. I see people creating fake profiles, trying to look at what you're doing, what's going on in your life. So do be careful with that. Next card here is the three of pentacles. Um, communication may be coming to you in uh, either a letter, uh, something that you've been wanting to get clarity on. For some of you guys, this could be something you've been waiting for. Um, Paperwork is something that I'm, I'm being shown. Letters um, could be something that has to do with legalities. Um, I see that clearing out for this month. So if you've been waiting to hear um, in regards to anything that has to do with legalities, it will probably uh, be unfolding or you will be getting news this month in regards to that. Okay, let's get into it. First card here is the Two of Pentacles. Next card is your card, Sagittarius Temperance card here. Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. All right, my lovely. So what they're showing me here is for some of you guys, there is a bit of unclarity, um, a bit of confusion in regards to a situation. Now they're asking you to be patient right now, Sagittarius. Be patient with yourself. Uh, nurture yourself Learn to make yourself a priority. Stop self-sacrificing yourself for other people or to make other people comfortable. Now, I know this is not something that I need to tell Sagittarians, um, but I feel that for some of you guys, th there's almost like 
putting up with people's nonsense um, because there is fear of discord or disconnect. So this could be in relationship to or in regards to a relationship. If you've been dealing with a lot of inconsistency in a relationship or in a partnership, it's almost like they come around and then they pull back or there is a bit of ghosting going on. Listen to your intuition, Sagittarius. Stop making excuses of why they're not reaching out. Why are they not contacting you? Uh, a person could be busy, but if they do care for you and if you matter to them, they will prioritize. Um, time management is something that everyone uh, needs to do in their life, right? So if I am interested in you and I'm wanting to get closer to you or to progress in this connection, I'm definitely going to put effort towards that. If they're not putting effort, don't make excuses of why they're not. Um, don't try to convince yourself that it's because they're busy because they're telling you that um, they have a lot of things going on. Everyone deals with shit in life. That's just a fact. Again, we go back to importance and priorities. So again, be mindful of that. You do have the seven of swords, which indicates some type of misleading or some type of hidden agenda. We have the king of cups here. You may be dealing with water energy uh, or fire energy. However, I feel that someone's trying to manipulate you in regards to a situation. So if like I said, if you're dealing with a partner or a connection where there's a lot of inconsistency, a lot of like feeling that they're not being completely honest with you, you need to pay attention to that. Um, King of Cups is giving me the energy of reverse and it usually indicates to me a very manipulative type of energy, someone that likes to make excuses for the way they act. Um, this is kind of the scenario of, you know, why can you love me in a healthy way or why can you communicate in 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 an adult form in a mature form and they sit there and tell you well you know i've been cheated on um i've been mistreated i have to you know it's just me keeping my guard up they're bullshitting and what they're telling you is don't let them uh emotionally manipulate you uh sagittarius going to be very important for you. I feel like for some of you guys, there is revelations that are going to be unfolding, not only for February, but all the way to March. Um, there is communication or clarity that comes in, but I see it almost at the end of the month. Um, try the best you can to ground yourself, meditate, try to incorporate something um, that has to do with self-nurturing or self-love. Again, um, I feel that this anxiousness or this stress of uncertainty is really getting to your head. And what they're telling you here is that everything will be revealed in due time. So you have to be patient right now. You have to try the best you can to listen again or be guided by your intuition. If something feels off, it probably is. If you're feeling like they're not being honest or transparent with you, they probably are not. It's about really paying attention and also uh, having a lot to do with putting or placing people in their right position or where they deserve to be put in your life. So again, if they're not making you a priority, do not make them a priority. If they are not putting effort or dropping the ball, um, it's time for you to stop picking up their slack or making excuses for them and see it for what it is take it in for what it really is um it's going to be a lot of like i said a lot of things that are going to be revealing to you or will be revealed um i'm feeling or sensing it very strongly at the end of february beginning of march but i feel that from this energy there's definitely going to be a lot of like i said revelation a lot of clarity I, I feel like you're being able to breathe. You're being able to not feel lost or confused anymore. And again, I feel that it's going to be unfolding in a positive way for you because it's going to allow you to really place people where, where they deserve to be placed. Um, and I'm feeling like for a lot of you guys, if you have in fact been dealing with this situation where there is a lot of inconsistency or the partner's creating a lot of doubt in you, um, take it back to yourself, Sagittarius. Make yourself a priority. Make sure that you're good. Take care of yourself. Try to be um, 
try to cleanse yourself and purge yourself from uh, anyone that's feeding off of your energy, anyone that is um, not being honest or that you catch in a lie, see it for what it is. Don't be like, you know, we all make mistakes. Of course we do. But if it's a person that makes a habit of that, you're just allowing them to think that you have no boundaries. So again, very important. I want to wish you guys all the very best and I hope that you enjoyed this reading. It gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.